Hi, my name is Deepan Patel from Phoenix Contact, Industry Manager for Building Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you what you get out of the ILC 2050 BI box. So that's what I have here. Um, first of all, you see that there is a label. Um, this tells you what the serial number is, uh, the date, uh, the version number, and uh, the host ID or HID number that you need uh, in order to license the Niagara software for the controller. Um, you also have the order number that's written on the label, which is quite handy. Um, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and open. Well packaged. Um, the, here's the ILC 2050 BI controller here. You have four Ethernet ports, uh, which each uh, two ports um, has a network card. So there's two network cards on, um, on the board. Uh, you have a diagnostics port here. Uh, you've got two RS-485 ports. And then this one here, uh, you use to power 24 volts DC to power the controller. Um, on the back of it, you've also got some pins that actually ground the controller uh, using a DIN roll. You've got a nice packing slip that explains uh, what's what. Uh, you've got a side plate as well. So this basically, when you are connecting your modules to the controller, um, once you finish, then use a side plate to basically protect these gold pins that you see here. So um, it will be like that when you uh, finish with that. Um, you get these two sort of plastic covers, which you can write um, on these labels. Um, that's used to reference your uh, inputs output signals. So uh, you just grab one of them like that. So. I just clip it. You can flick it up, so feed all your wire. Um, the wire can be going sort of downwards. Uh, the controller can be mounted vertically or horizontal, and that creates a nice little cover so that you can see what signals are coming out of that particular module. If you uh, have any questions on our ILC 2050BI, please feel free to ask and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.